Melachim Shani, two kings, nine. And Elisha the prophet called one of the children of the prophets and said unto him, Gird up your loins and take this box of oil in your hand and go to Ramoth Gilad. And when you come thither, look out there Yahu, the son of Yahu Shaphat, the son of Nimshi, and go in and make him arise up from among his brethren and carry him to an inner chamber. Then take the box of oil and pour it on his head and say, Thus says Yahuwah, I have anointed you king over El Yashara'el. Then open the door and flee and tarry not. So the young man, even the young man the prophet, went to Ramoth Gilad. And when he came, behold, the captains of the host were sitting, and he said, I have an errand to you, O captain. And Yahuwah said, Unto which of us, rather, unto which of all us? And he said, To you, O captain. And he arose and went into the house, and he poured the oil on his head, and said unto him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el, I have appointed, rather, anointed you king over the people of Yahuwah even over El Yashara'el. And you shall smite at the house of Achav, your master, that I may avenge the blood of my servants, the prophets, and the blood of all the servants of Yahuwah at the hand of Izebel. For the whole house of Achav shall perish, and I will cut off from Achav even that pisseth against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Yashara'el. And I will make at the house of Achav like the house of Yarov Am, the son of Nivat, and like the house of Basha, the son of Achiahu. And the dogs shall eat at Izebel in the portion of Yishra'el, and there shall be none to bury her. And he opened the door and fled. Then Yahu came forth to the servants of his Lord, and one said unto him, Is all well? Wherefore came this mad fellow to you? And he said unto them, Ye know eth the man, and eth his communication. And they said, It is false. Tell us now. And he said, Thus and thus spoke he to me, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, I have anointed you king over El Yashara'el. Then they hasted and took every man his garment, and put it under him on the top of the stairs, and blew with shofars, saying, Yahu is king. So Yahu, the son of Yahushaphat, the son of Nimshi, conspired against Yoram. Now, Yoram had guarded Ramath Gilad, he and all Yashar'el, because of Chazael, king of Aram. But King Yoram was returned to be healed in Yisrael of the wounds which the Aramim had given him when he fought with Eth Chazael, king of Aram. And Yahu said, if it be your minds, then let none go forth, nor escape out of the city, to go to tell it in Yisrael. So Yahu rode in a chariot and went to Yisrael, for Yaram lay there, and Ahaz Yahu, king of Yahuda, was come down to see at Yaram. And there stood a watchman on the tower in Yisrael, and he spied at the company of Yahu as he came and said, I see a company. And Yoram said, Take a horseman and send to meet them. And let him say, Is it peace? So there went one on horseback to meet him and said, Thus says the king, Is it peace? And Yahuwah said, 
What have you to do with peace? Turn behind me. And the watchman told, saying, The messenger came to them, but he comes not again. Then he sent out a second on horseback, which came to them and said, Thus says the king, Is it peace? And Yahoo answered, What have you to do with peace? Turn behind me. And the watchman told, saying, He came even unto them, and comes not again. And the driving is like the driving of Yahu, the son of Nimshi, for he drives furiously. And Yoram said, Make ready. And his chariot was made ready. And Yoram, king of Yashadael, and Ahaz Yahu, king of Yahuda, went out, each in his chariot, and they went out against Yahu, and met him in the portion of Nevoth, the Yisraeli. And it came to pass, when Yoram saw at Yahu that he said, Is it peace, Yahu? And he answered, What peace? So long as the whoredoms of your mother, Isabel, and her witchcrafts are so many. And Yoram turned his hands and fled, and said to Ahaz Yahu, There is treachery, O Ahaz Yahu. And Yahu drew a bow with his full strength, and smote Eth Yahuram between his arms, and the arrow went out at his heart, and he sunk down in his chariot. Then said Yahu to Bichar, his captain, Take up and cast him in the portion of the field of Naboth, the Yisraeli. For remember how that, when I and you Eth rode together after Achav, his father, Yahuwah laid eth this burden upon him. Surely I have seen yesterday eth the blood of Nevoth, and eth the blood of his sons, says Yahuwah. And I will requite you in this plat, says Yahuwah. Now therefore, take and cast him into the plat of ground, according to the word of Yahuwah. But when Achaz Yahu the king of Yahuda saw this, he fled by the way of the garden house. And Yahu followed after him and said, Smite him also in the chariot. And they did so at the going up to Ger, which is by Eth Yivalem. And he fled to Megiddo and died there. And his servants carried him in a chariot to Yerushalayim and buried him in his sepulcher with his fathers in the city of David. And in the eleventh year of Yoram, the son of Achav, began Ahaziahu to reign over Yahuda. And when Yahu was come to Yisrael, Isabel heard of it, and she painted her face, and hath tired her head, and looked out at a window. And as Yahu entered in at the gate, she said, Had Zimri peace, who slew his master? And he lifted up his face to the window and said, Who is on my side? Who? And there looked out to him two or three eunuchs, and he said, Throw her down. So they threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and on the horses, and he trode under her foot. And when, she, and when he was come in, he did eat and drink and said, Go, see now at this cursed woman, and bury her, for she is a king's daughter. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hands. Wherefore they came again and told him, and he said, This is the word of Yahuwah, which he spoke by his servant Eliyahu, the Tishbi, saying, In the portion of Yisrael shall dogs eat at the flesh of Isabel. And the carcass of Isabel shall be as dung upon the face of the field in the portion of Yisrael, so that they shall not say, This is Isabel.